Goldcrest Valley greetings to episode number 21 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm back. I wasn't going to leave you hanging. Of course I'm going to finish off this mission. Good way to start the new episode. And we can get on with the jobs of the day ahead. And we are nearly there. That'll do nicely. What's that? 17, nearly 18,000? I'll take that all day long. Right. I really am going to get this back to the farm. Unless, of course, I see another mission. Hmm, harvesting. That might be worth a few quid. I'll just stop and have a look. I can always say no. I do have that willpower. That's if I don't overrun the turning. Assuming, of course, it's ready. Three thousand. Yeah, go on then. I knew I couldn't say no. Turn it on would be a good idea. I'm sorry, I have no willpower. And I'm off again. I'll see you at the end of this one. And then I'll stop, I promise. Sorry about those turns. In cab, don't do that very often when I'm harvesting. But it's actually an easy bit to do, so <laughs> it's not too bad. And I'm nearly there, hopefully. This field took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, actually. Mind you, that said, I've got 27 minutes left on the clock, but just under. But oh, Will it be just under? Oh, let's see. Yep, <laughs> literally a second under. 23 and 21, 44, 44, 7, 44, 8, that's not bad, okay, I really am, really, really am this time, did I leave the lights on, oh, I hope it starts, yeah, just, Okay, let's get this lady back to the farm, shall we? I keep threatening to, and they're not doing it. And this tractor's getting quite dirty as well. Sort that out as well. Okay, but there we go, a couple of contracting jobs. A bit of extra money in the bank. Ready for renting, leasing, sorry, the uh, potato harvester at some point. I'm not quite sure when it's going to happen. Looks like our crops are starting to grow as well, which is great. They're probably going to need a bit of... Uh, bit of TLC. Typically, as is the case with these things, everything happens at once. So I've come back from the cow farm, back to the main farm, fields 15, 14, 19, all need fertilising. 12 I've cleared, so I've set a worker to plough it. The field 9 that I've been waiting for the potatoes is now ready. 
and I, I don't have enough tractors, enough workers to do it all, so I'm going to do one thing at a time. So I'm down at field 19 with my new Carowell Nicolas. Um, I'm going to unfold the sprayer. It's a big old brute. I'm glad I bought this. So it means I'll be able to cover these fields relatively quickly. Drop that down a bit. Get the right height for the field. Turn it on. And away we go. Seems to be working. say he. <coughs> Not I'm sexist, I've just got into the habit of doing it. But she is doing a brilliant job. It's now six in the morning, no need to have lights on, apparently. It's actually a fair sized field, to be honest. I think I'm going to put corn in this one as well. Then sunflowers over on field nine. I think. Yep, that's probably the plan. That's really weird. I suppose because of the space he had. I'll do it myself. Not a problem. So I'm trying to hit the boom on anything. Oh, that's close. Still not driving over the crops, which is good. So I'm quite impressed at how little fertiliser this is actually using. It was one of the downsides I always found on 15 was the uh, self-propelled um, fertiliser sprayer. Perhaps he loved it, it was a brilliant bit of kit, but it just flew through the spray so quickly. This is probably going to do the same on this one, isn't it? Has he finished his task? And he has just started his task. What are you talking about? The T7 is ploughing up on field 12. So I've had to grab the Lely with the Fent. Second load of 44,000 litres. It's a fair amount. And we'll put it in here. Should keep us in straw for a while. We are so close to emptying this. Just want to get some more into this little gap here. Ah, uh, all over the floor. Okay. 
If I can tidy that up. Okay. That's that done. Next job's going to be to go back and pick up all the hay that's on the floor. That needs to come up here, up here, down here as well. So I shall head back over. Fertilising is done. That's good. On at 19, 14 and 15. Still needs to do the harvest on 9. So that's probably going to be the next episode, I would imagine. Uh, so yeah, it's all progressing and once the fields ploughed on 12 Then got to maybe cultivate it. What am I putting in it? Did I say? Probably corn. So yeah, it's going to be cultivating Cultivate it then seed it um, So that's going to take a little bit of time too um, But it's good that we've got plenty of jobs to do now Because uh, I know when I first started and we only had a couple of fields once they were seeded and we were waiting, or I was waiting, for them to uh, to grow, it was finding enough things to do. I, th I seem to have a few things on the go now with the sheep and the pigs, getting ready for the cows. Um, no, it's all, it's all hands on deck. I, I don't have enough tractors to have lots of workers going at the moment. And unfortunately the case um, just is a bit underpowered. It's only got 145 horsepower. So for the sort of machinery I've got at the moment, it's okay for shunting and doing stuff with the bucket and stuff around the pig farm and the sheep farm, but it's not, it's not going to be much good for uh, for anything else really. But that's one of those things. Okay, let's get this cultivated then. Plough was finished. Unfold the cultivator. I am at the moment bouncing between uh, jobs around the farm mainly between the fertilising, spraying, uh, ploughing and pre preparation of field 21 uh, taking bits and bobs down to the cow farm so this is the full load of hay uh, which will now go down and go into one of the uh, storage buildings yeah, storage bays. So it's all coming along nicely. All the little jobs, sort of fiddly bits that need to be done. 
are being done. So we're high into the back one. This will be a bit more difficult because the wall, because of the slope of the. Uh, God, I don't know how steep the slope was actually. I hope it's going to work. We'll see. Start in this back corner, go from there. Hope I hasn't poured over the back. <laughs> ah. Great. It's, <laughs> it's poured out everywhere. Oh dear. Okay. Let's just uh, have a look at the destruction I might have just caused. Let's have a look. Oops. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was anticipating. Okay. Uh, right. Well. Uh, okay. I've definitely got hay there anyway. At the store, and that momentous, momentous, momentous time has finally arrived. I've got enough to rebuy it. Select. Yes, please. And then I want to get the mower header, which is that one, the X Disc 620. Yes, please. Oh, crikey, the money's gone down. I also need to get, or want to get, I have to do small jobs. Ooh. I want to get the bale wrapper. Okay. The Asus bale wrapper. Oh, how I've missed you. Right, let's get in it. I brought the uh, Joskin trailer down with the, with the, uh, uh, the Fent. So hook this back up again. down pipe out right let's go around this map cutting some grass again shall we start getting some stuff into that silage clamp at the cow field pasture farm bit And off we go. Hooray! You know what? It's only dawned on me. I hadn't done uh, a spraying on field 17 or 21. I'm happily going around the farm, seeding, fertilising, ploughing, and 
everything's great i've seeded both of these and completely forgot to fertilize uh for the second time it was fertilized when it seeded but it needs doing again so here i am with the monster i really really want to save up and get the uh the new holland self-propelled one that's a brilliant bit of kit front boom sprayer Drop it down a bit. Get it to the right height. And where we go. I have to say this makes very, very light work of um of all of the fields. Actually. The ones I own at the moment, they're all relatively small, I say. Relatively, I don't have any massive fields. Um, but yeah, it works really well. I think I said earlier on, it doesn't use anywhere near as much spray as I thought it would, which is great as well nothing worse than to refill these especially with the price the cost of the fertilizer um, on FS17 seems to be considerably higher could just be me because you're having to buy it in bags and before you could just go to the cell at the sort of collection point you didn't really notice I guess but I don't know because you're having to f not physically pay for it but yeah I don't know it could just be me It's interesting the seed have missed a couple of bits here and there. Turn that off. Fill it up. to fill 21 and not knocking over the sign this time which quite clearly someone from the uh, say council we would call it council I don't know what you call it have repaired go so just about it's the beauty of narrow fields <laughs> every now and again the um, amount of money in the bank might jump up a little bit every now and again um, I'm very aware that I'm kind of I'm trying to show that I'm doing contracting jobs but I don't want to do it so it becomes boring and monotonous and every episode I've got a bit of contracting then something else and so I'm doing some contracting off screen Right, that's that. That's all my fields now. A quick check. Zoom that in. There we go. All my fields now have had the second spray. So that's the blue that matches up with um, the second bar on the fertilised section. 
come up to the home farm screen there we go right 14 15 and 19 have been done 12 has just been seeded with the fertilizer in the seeding and once that gets the first growth on it i'll be able to put the second lot of fertilizer on that next job i think is going to be field number nine getting the potatoes out but that'll be the next episode and get this back to the farm do need to pick up that corn header as well because i've got canola in both these fields so i don't need the corn header over here anymore that needs to be back over by the farm so i'll come and get that somewhere too so there we have it almost full for some reason it gets to about 46,000 litres this is a 47,000 litre trailer but with the grass and the crone for some reason it goes a bit splattery and it won't kind of add anymore right so one first thing I'm going to do is lower that header and drop it I think it's going to make life a bit easier for unloading he says why is that not this doesn't want to turn what is going on Okay, that's making any sense. I do like on this crone the three flashing beacons. That's a nice touch that. I like that. Right. It's like it's sliding. I don't know what it's sliding on. Very weird. Okay, right. Get the help window on. No, it should. <laughs> be registering. There we go. So it's fill level chaff. It is registering, which it would never do before. So now I've repurchased it and it is working. Hooray! There we go. So at the moment we've got 107,000 litres in here, which is pretty good. what I will do just to compact it drop off the trailer just make life easier going back some falls uh, try not to leave it in someone else's fields that'd probably be a good idea wouldn't it okay so I'll use the chrome to compact because it's a big heavy old machine so the chrome is rebought. we've been doing seeding um with fertilizing there's been a bit of plowing i've been moving straw and hay over here ready for the cows it's been a busy episode um got my got my first load in here but my first load unloaded using the chrome which it wouldn't do originally i need to get the leveler probably in here again but that's not a problem compacting is going up 81 82 and so on anyway that is the end of today's episode tomorrow's episode or at least the next episode is probably going to be the potato harvesting because it needs doing so hope you enjoyed the episode if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do plenty more videos coming your way on fs17 if you want to leave a comment please leave a comment uh, if you want to share the video, please share the video with whoever you would like to share it with. The more the merrier. I am on Facebook and screenshots appear on there regularly as do the links to all the YouTube clips. Check out my YouTube channel for more of the same. Whatever you choose to do. From me and the Chrome Big X. Thanks for watching. <laughs>